Hey everyone, we are the Bachelor of Physical Education first year. I am Mona Lisa Parilla Sinto. And I am Danica May Sevilla. And today, we will go to discuss about the ecological system theory of Brocken Granite. Brofenbrenner, or known as Yuri Brofenbrenner, is an American psychologist best known for having developed human ecology or ecological systems theory, in which individuals are seen as mattering not in isolation but within the context of relationships, such as those involving families, friends, schools, neighborhood, and society. The ecological system theory of Brocken Brenner focuses on the nature and context of child surroundings. According to him, these settings interaction change as a child grows and develops, as a child's physical and cognitive systems develop and mature. This complicity may appear. The main points of Brocken Brenner theory is the microsystem, mesosystem, exosystem, macrosystem, and chronosystem. Thank you, Ms. Mona and Danica. I am Trisha Macy Galendez, Christine Magitampon, and we will go in to discuss the microsystem of Brockenbrenner theory. Brockenbrenner theory suggests that the microsystem is the smallest and most immediate environment in which children live. Microsystems are the things that have direct contact with the child in their immediate environment, such as parents, siblings, teachers. In microsystem, in relationship are bidirectional, meaning the child can be influenced by other people and the environment is also capable of changing the beliefs and actions of the other people too. The reaction of child to individuals in their microsystem can influence how they treat them in return. Example, if a child has a strong nurturing relationship with their parents, this is said to have a positive effect on child. Whereas distant and affectionate parents will have negative effect on childhood. Therefore, given in the example, a child experiencing in this stage is not impossible for the development of them to progress in different manners. Each child's particular personality traits, such as temperament, which is influenced by unique genetic and biological factors, ultimately have a hand in how he or she is treated by the others. Thank you, Ms. Christine Atricia. Hello, I am John Russell G. Kadutdot. I'm Jezari Pangandoyo. And I'm Jemima Alirinantao. And we will discuss the mesosystem of Brocken Brenner Ecological Theory. Mesosystem encompasses the interaction of the different microsystems which children find themselves in it is, in essence, a system of microsystems and, as such, involve linkage between home and school, between pair group and family, and between family and community. Example, the relationship between the father and the school teacher. First, if the father doesn't get along with the teacher, the child might suffer. Second, they invite their child friends over to their house from time to time with them. Then, the child development is affected positively through harmony and like-mindedness. However, if the child's parents dislike their child's views and openly criticize them, then child's experience disequilibrium and they conflict emotions with be lacking with the negative development. Therefore, Mr. System is a tool for opportunities to boil as a bridge between the two different systems thereby providing consistency and familiarity in their child life. Mr. John, Ms. Jessory, and Ms. Junaina. Good day, everyone. I am Princess Jane and Bino. And I am Justin Ababa. And now we are going to tackle the Brofren Brenner's Exosystem. Based on the findings of Brofren Brenner's Exosystem pertains to the linkage that may exist between two or more settings one of which may not contain the developing children but affect them indirectly. Nonetheless, people and place that children may not directly interact with may still have an impact on their lives, such as place and people may include the parents' workplace, extended family members, and the neighborhood that children live in. In short, the exosystem focuses on the settings that indirectly impact 
children's lives even if they are not directly involved in those settings. An example of ICSA system. And I will give you some scenarios. There is a family who had one child and the child named Pao Pao. Pao Pao is a grade 8 student but because of pandemic, his parents lose their child. That's why he need to stop his studies. And even though it's indirect, it can also affect Pao Pao life because of its environment. Mr. Justin and Miss Princess, hello, I am Michaela Ming G. Florentino. And I am Rachel Anulas. And today, we will be discussing the Burton Brenner Ecological Model, which is a macro system. The macro system is the largest and most distant collection of people and places to have children and still have significant influences on them. This ecological system is composed of the children's cultural patterns and values, specifically their dominant beliefs and ideas, as well as political and economic system. For example, children in white areas will experience a different kind of development than children in peaceful environments. Another example will be given by Ms. Mikhail. Some of other examples of the Dakar system, which is the cultural values and norms, political system. Cultural values and norms, the overreacting cultural values norms in a society such as individualism, collectivism, gender roles, and religious beliefs. Shape how individuals perceive and interact with the world. Political system, the backer system includes the political structure and governance of a country which can influence policies, laws, and regulations that affect citizens' lives and rights. Ms. Noel and Ms. Polentino, my name is Kasi Luisa Hernani and I am Christian Armolieta. We will be talking about Chrono System. The Chrono System, the last level of Brofen Brenner's ecological model, is concerned with how time affects a person's development. The Brofen Brenner theory suggests that the Chrono system adds the useful dimensions of time, which demonstrates the influence of both change and constancy in the children's environments. The Chrono system influences a change in family structure, address, parents' employment status, as well as immense society change, such as economic cycles and wars. For instance, a child who regularly bullies younger students at school can be that tend to be the fearful victim at home. Because of this variance, people who are responsible for specific child's care should pay great attention to the child's behavior in various contexts, as well as the nature and existence of the links between those contexts. It was a meaningful topic about the Bronfender's ecological theory. So now, I will be giving to you the takeaways or summarize of this topic. So we all know that the Braunfelder's ecological system theory views child development as a complex system of relationships affected by multiple levels of surrounding environment from immediate family and school settings to broad cultural values, laws, and customs. So Braunfelder's divided the person's environment into five different systems, right? The microsystem, the mesosystem, the exosystem, the macro system, lastly the kernel system. So first is the micro system is the most influential level of the ecological system theory. This is the most immediate environmental setting containing the developing child and such as family and school. So next is the meso system. The meso system is where a person's individual micro system do not function independently but are interconnected and assert influence upon one another. Next is the exosystem. It incorporates other formal and informal social stu structure while not directly interacting with the child. The exosystem exo still influences the microsystem. Next is the macrosystem. So the macrosystem focuses on how cultural element, elements affect a child's development, consisting of culture, ideologies, attitudes, and social conditions that children are immersed in. So lastly is the chrono system. 
take note that the chronic system relates to shifts and transition over the child's lifetime. So to study a child's development, we must look at the child and their immediate environment and, and the interaction of the larger environment. So remember, Bronfen Brunner's ecological system theory has, impli has implications for educational practices. These are the ecological system theory of Bronfen Brunner. We hope that you understand our lessons, our discussion for today. Thank, Thank you! you.